Good morning from Sigiriya. And in today's video, we are going to be climbing the Lion's Rock. And we're currently walking towards the rock, which I'll show you in one second. But you can see uh, right now we're walking through these fountain gardens. So back in the day, these would have been beautiful fountains as you walk up to the rock. So it's just after 7 a.m. doesn't open till 7 a.m. So we just come just after opening time. And the tickets are 30 US dollars each. So apparently it takes just over around an hour to climb. So we'll time it and see the exact time as we go up. So this place is like regarded as like the eighth wonder of the world. It's like UNESCO listed. So, I'm really excited to climb this. Sai, not so much. But they have very nice track, like walk along. I thought it's gonna be like climbing up, like where, you know, like we went to the last hotel with the dirt, with the slock and everything. That's why I was like, uh -huh. But this is good, look at it, like they make it so nice. It's a palace. Yeah, someone yeah. always taking care of them, like swiping. I wonder it's yeah. nice, it's a built for the kings. Oh, wow. We just approached the entrance and size are already tired. <laughs> hey? Then beef curries are catching up with you. Yeah, the beef and black pork curry are catching up. We just got out of the car park. Haven't hit a step yet. <laughs> then we walk from there to here, a little step by step, and I'll breath. You can see it's pretty decent walk from the car park. Wow, this is like a super impressive entrance. It's so hard to do this, huh? All right, look at this entry. Can you get a more inviting entry than that? It's like something out of uh, Indiana Jones. You ready? Yeah. I'm not gonna need to carry you, am I? <laughs> All right, let's enter. All right, this is what lies in front of us. The track to the top begins. All right, so you can see the stairs going up the top. Now, what's interesting about this is there's no original stairs to be found when they discovered this place. You can see these impressions here. Black stairs, but they go vertically straight up and they don't go all the way to the top. So it's uh, very interesting and unexplained. You can see these holes here. How they've been carved. Were they stairs? I don't know. But you can see, look at these lines here. So, so there's like one long. And it goes all the way to the top. Were they like, you know, made from ancient tools? What could have done that, you know? Water running off from the top ponds. Almost there. Yeah, they've got four different ponds. See, here's these imprints. Like stairs, but they go up like 90 degrees. So here is the lion's paw. So before, you can see both sides, the lion's paw here and here. There was a lion in the entrance, but they've like since collapsed. But you could imagine how impressive that would have been to walk through. You'd walk through the lion's mouth to enter before you went to the top. Yeah, and that was actually like a lion and his mouth and you'll walk through his mouth now, but it's since collapsed. All right, so we just entered through where the lion's mouth would have been. And uh, look at the stairs, look how solid these stairs are. Look at that. 
marble. They don't mess around back in the old days. The old. Now, now we can't even afford a dining table of real marble. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, they, like, they don't build it like they used to, huh? And now the build is like the spare. Staircase, is it? Yeah, I don't know if I'll be wanting to take that staircase though. How would you like to use uh, these stairs? Huh? We should try it. Oh my God. Can I say it? No. <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> so you can see uh, these lines are for where the water runs down. Everything has been thought of. We're going to see the beautiful view together. This is only the first level. Oh. <laughs> I thought this is it. We're not there yet. Can you see these stairs? So I thought we we're at the top. We're only halfway. the top and we're now entering the central palace so these were the stairs that lead to the palace please enter my queen bring in my other queens no, okay. <laughs> no way all right the king is the king i'll be like the one in india where she shower where they have this huge pan there was second queen, she's gonna be in that pan and I'm gonna boil that water. So there's uh one thing that I'm was curious, if he stay here, where his servants stay. Are they had to climb down every morning to get up and down? Maybe. You can see like there's uh, two walls. Very interesting. You can see the. Okay, look back here. He had like a little pond back here, a little pool. He could just uh, go out the back here and shower. Look at that view, like the sun direct from. And in the morning, there was thick, thick fog. Fog. Yeah. And look at that, like the sun hit the cloud. Yeah. It's so beautiful, like you're in heaven. Everything's in like perfect alignment here. Like, we walk down the stairs here. So my guys, I think if you have a chance to come here, I really recommend it because it's very different when you look in the picture in the video when you see in real life. This is like the number one tourist tracks attraction in Sri Lanka. With that view. A lot of this place uh, still remains like a mystery because it was only like rediscovered back in 1831 by an Englishman. Oh. They found the ruins. But before they believed like it was like at least 1500 years old. But they said it could have even been longer than that. Like it could have he could have come, like the king could have come and uh, rebuilt it from back in the even before days. Mm. So crazy how old this place is. Mm. So there's the entrance. It's a pretty impressive garden. You can see climb up the stairs to the main pool. And you see like uh, the water system through this stair here. So this one's got a really like sophisticated water system happening. So there's like different pools and uh, there's underwater like conduits that control the water. It must be so fit from uh, climbing the stairs all day. That's what happened. Why don't you stay on the ground? Eh? <laughs> you don't want to talk. Okay. He's so tired. This has been like 
carved out of like granite the the pool like the rock with primitive tools so to dig this much like landfill out and then like obviously like either take it down or use it would take years, years? to build this years i think well, how, how long with 10 years a decade yeah primitive tools would take so long to to dig this one and like the amazing thing about this pool here it actually never empties or floods so even like with high rains uh, this won't flood and even in like droughts or anything there'll always be water in this pool and the underwater like what the underwater system they have uh, the runoff goes out to the moat around the rock Wow, look at the throne. You'd think being so, so many years old, I just wouldn't care and just make anything, but it was only the best. Of course it is. Everything was perfect. But how? How is this, how is a rock to become like that? That is like full cement. Yeah. That just... It's like rounded perfectly. It's like cement, maybe cement build. Yeah, <laughs> it's carved out of the rock. Oh so that was the top of the lion's rock. Now we start our uh, descent down. How do you like it? Very much. Definitely worth coming <laughs> to see now, huh? I was almost going to come solo. Mm -hmm. I was almost going to come solo, so I didn't want to come. Yeah. He didn't tell me anything, he just told me Almost yes, there. <laughs> almost <laughs> there. Almost <laughs> there. Almost <laughs> there. <laughs> dying. Dying. <laughs> ah, a few more stairs, and it's all worth it. Have a break up the top there. Here's a second rock that we're going to climb today called Pitarangala. <laughs> so you can... <laughs> what? We're not climbing no more rocks. So we're going to go down here. And then climb up to this one. No, we're not going to do that one today, but uh, we'll leave that one for next time. But you can also climb that one, and it's like really nice. I'll wait until they do the nice track out there, like have like stairs. And uh, people do that both in one day. So see this wall here? This was actually a mirror. A mirror? It was a mirror wall, so when the king could walk past, you could actually see his reflection in this wall. And you can see uh, like the graffitis and writing in the wall. Um, this is how they like dated back how old this place was now, through these writings. I Totally agree, but they're making this one and said do not touch because you can see some A and B are in there. Yeah, people write their people own. People write them down, and there's not good. Like when all the places I went, they're writing thing on the rock. I do not like that, and this is like very good. Yeah, I was even thinking at the top that like they should rope off more areas and try and preserve it more. Um, even though it is nice to walk around and have the freedom, yeah. but it is good to preserve, like yeah. because. You know, once these things are gone, they're gone. You can see there's some uh, original drawings here that have been decayed over the time. We just come out of, uh, at the top there, before we come down them stairs, uh, you know, they take video or photo in there. There's some uh, paintings from, you know, dating back 1600 years, 15, 1600 years. And uh, 
the interesting part about them, they had the like women paintings of like all different countries of like Mongolia, China, India, Sri Lankan. so Sri Lankan, African. So it was really, really interesting. And one picture of them, he said she had like six fingers. Six fingers, there was one with like three hands. Three hands. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no snakes. <laughs> no, we hate snakes. <laughs> it was a big python. Yeah, it was a huge python in there. He was going to make him come out. One of the first times I come to Sri Lanka, we stopped like on a roadside juice. The guy come and put like the python, oh the snake, that was a cobra, it wasn't a python, this was a cobra. He put it next to me and then he was playing that and the monkey was coming and slapping it on the head and it's like right near my leg. Oh my and I'm God. like, I'll pay you to, to like put that away. <laughs> I don't want to see no freaking monkey slapping the cobra show near my leg. That's a decent breakfast you got there. Yeah. That's like a breakfast for the champion. Oh, Good wow. breakfast. Wow. <laughs> you eat like that every day? Yeah. Oh, wow. Huge. Huh? No, it's okay. I'll let you enjoy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get a coconut, king coconut. Nothing, no better way to finish than uh, have the coconut on the way out. To my king first? No, oh, you can have it. Oh, okay. She always offered me first, but because of the video, she uh, gets to have first. Oh, yeah. Out of the camera, I always give to my king first. Uh, we made it to the bottom and you can see the moat that runs around the whole area. Yeah. Now we're getting a... Uh, and they even had uh, like crocodiles in here. So, to get across you'd be uh, a little bit of a risk involved. Alright, that was Sigiriya. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to take you back to uh, our hotel where we're staying. Uh, it's actually really, really close to here. And we're going to have a local breakfast and we'll show you uh, if you're looking for somewhere when you come here. Uh, this might be an option if you want a budget hotel. Alright, so we have come for breakfast and we just arrived back to the hotel and I'll show you where we're staying. Look, we're back. You can see the rice field over here, but there is where we just climbed Sigiriya. And we'll show you the room in a minute after we have the food. So this is the breakfast. We got um, it's an omelette here, hoppers, and this one is pancake. Pancake, Sri Lankan pancake. Yeah, with the coconut inside. Yeah. Coconut Jaggery. Honey. Honey, oh, yeah. yeah. Really nice breakfast, and we got the mango shake. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Like this? Ah, uh, yeah. And then roll, roll it up. It. Yeah, like this. I All right. See. <laughs> it's like an omelet pancake. <laughs> good. Mmm, good omelet. All right, time to try the pancake. So I couldn't wait, she's already smashed her yeah. too. So, this can look, look inside. inside. So sweet and uh, the coconut. coconut sugar. Mm, look at that. Coconut sugar, the one, the cylinder one, and the coconut is felt like together. A little bit of like the ginger taste in there as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice, and when you have it with the coffee or tea, mm, so good. Ah, what a delicious breakfast. I'm so full. But now we'll uh, show you the room. So you can see the room has the view of Sigur Rock. Mm. And uh, you can have the peacock come visit you. Yeah, there's peacocks, there's, there's a, a peacock the paddy one field. Over there. Yeah. So uh, we'll go in. So this room is just under 14 US dollars. You've got these seats out the front here. So I'd have to say for like a budget hotel, this is the best uh, budget hotel we've big, stayed in. Yeah, big, 
clean, no mosquito, and have air conditioner and hot water working. All right. They even have the fridge for you. So, big bed, solid. King size bed. Yeah. You can see it's very, the, very clean. Yeah. And the plaque is International Club. Size All favorite. Size. Come with a fridge. Yeah, come with a fridge. Which and we haven't got in all the hotels we've stayed in. Yeah, and it has a bathroom. Very nice, clean, clean bathroom. So, really, really impressed with this place and friendly owners. And look at this, you just got that view. And when you come, I think they're planning the rice. Imagine with the rice. Oh, with the field. rice field, yeah, yeah. grown. It's going to look yeah. spectacular. Yeah. Okay, so the name of the hotel is called Sigiria Paradise Inn. So if you're coming here, uh, definitely, you know, if you're looking for a budget option, you know, it's very close. And there's also a guy here that said he's like a local guide as well. So you can book like tours through him, uh, through the hotel. So it's very easy. So. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Pretty quick one, going up to the raw, little breakfast pretty before quick we one check out. Hard one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guys, until next time, dream bigger, much sooner. Peace.